Good afternoon. I'm Nick Cannon, the Managing Director of the BAE Systems and Engineering. It's a pleasure to be with you again, Sakita. Um, we are back in Aero India, uh, and, and it is always uh, such an exciting and important show for us because it really allows us to continue to demonstrate our, our commitment to India as an important strategic market. Uh, this is a it's not just a market for us, it's a, it's a partner, it's a customer, it's a supplier into our global supply chain. And so, um, yet again, we're back here now to showcase and, and celebrate the successes of some of our key programs. So I'll start with the M777 Ultralight Howitzer, which we recently debuted at, at Republic Day. Um, very proud moment for us. Uh, that just followed the induction of the M777 Ultralight Howitzer by the Honorable the Defense Minister just a few months before that. And so, part of the FMS agreement between the United States government and the government of India, we have now handed over the first five guns. We've just finished acceptance testing of the fifth gun that's at the Pritla facility, which is the assembly integration and test facility, uh, which we have created in a partnership with Mahindra Defense in Faridabad. That will then get handed over to the Indian Army, and then we'll, they'll continue the progressive steps of uh, bringing over the first uh, 25 guns that are f uh, fully assembled and then from the 26 gun we start the assembly integration and test at the Mahindra facility. So that program continues to not just uh, induct and now begin to deliver much needed uh, capability but it also you know continues to allow us to be able to talk about some of the other capabilities uh, that we can provide with M777, such as precision value munitions. And so in the induction of the Chinooks that will take place later this year as well, M777 really brings, brings that maneuverable capability, and then with the added uh, capability of precision fire that we've talked to the Indian Army about, that really provides a force multiplier to the Indian Army. A lot good, but there's a lot going on in terms of continuing to build our supplier base and our industrial footprint we will have our next India Supplier Summit on the 10th of April. That again continues to develop our industrial footprint here. We've got 40 plus uh, Indian suppliers, large private sector, small MSMEs. Uh, within that, I've just spoken about MSMEs, in fact, here uh, at the seminar and our expectations uh, from the MSMEs. Uh, so we continue to find great capability, niche capability uh, from the MSMEs. Let me move uh, to the air sector. Um, where we continue to talk about our Hawk program. So as we look at the future of Hawk and, and, and all the different ways that we can enhance the capability uh, of Hawk, um, of what it needs to deliver, uh, potentially in a dual mission uh, capacity for the Indian Air Force, we're talking about a range of things from uh, uh, sustainment support, maintenance support, uh, sort of annual maintenance contracts, and then really looking at obsolescence management, reliability, and serviceability for the platform that we're now looking to do uh, in, in partnership with Indian companies. We're also talking about our future combat air system, which we unveiled at Farnborough, where the UK government outlined its vision for a combat air strategy that sort of looks uh, beyond uh, when uh, Typhoon will, will, will sort of um, exit service, so we're looking at the beyond uh, 2045, 2050 time frame. So as you look at Typhoon, that will continue to play a, a vital role as the, as, as, as the premier medium uh, role combat aircraft, the induction of the F-35 and the RAF. Um, the UK is then looking at, at, at a future combat air system capability that comes in after that. So sort of using um, Typhoon and, and then looking at a range of capabilities and advanced uh, future combat capabilities that could be developed on uh, on a technology platform uh, such as Team Tempest, which is a collaborative effort between the UK government and, and with UK industry. And then lastly, let me finish with Naval, where we are um, really showcasing our capability of the 127mm Mark 45 Naval uh, weapon system. This is the premier combat proven five inch naval gun that exists in the United States Navy and five other navies. We're now working closely with the Indian Navy and the United States government to work a foreign military sale case for this program. A lot of discussions between the two navies and ourselves, but we're now really, really beginning to understand what's required by the shipyards as they complete uh, their ships. This is initially for 13 systems, 
but we look at some future growth potential there. And also within the maritime domain, we're talking about our uh, design development uh, capabilities coming out of the UK, with the uh, uh, UK just just having completed its, its two aircraft carriers at Queen Elizabeth, which has of course just finished very successful sea trials of the F-35, and then also the Prince of Wales. So, so we're really showcasing our aircraft carrier design development uh, capabilities uh, to potentially uh, partner with Indian shipyards to be able to offer that capability uh, to the Indian Navy. Thank you.